Hey guys, it's Ann popping on behind her apron. Hello, how is everybody? It is asparagus season. Do you guys eat asparagus? Um, I am going to show you how to make a asparagus and leek chowder. And it's fresh vegetable season. They're just coming on. It always starts with asparagus, so I thought you guys might enjoy this. So I guess my first question, since I'm popping on here live, Maybe you're following along on one of my virtual parties this week. If you are, I'm excited you're here. Or if you're just one of my followers and you watch some of my videos, how do you guys like to cook asparagus? What do you do? Do you throw it in the air fryer with just a little olive oil and salt and pepper? Because that's a wonderful way to roast it. Or do you like it creamed? Or do you steam it with cheese sauce? Do you wrap it in bacon and grill it? Put in the comments. I always love to know how people use some of the foods. So this is what we're doing for the chowder today though. And I see the camera is just a little low. Let me see if I can prop it up just a touch. And I have um, some butter melted in the pan. I have someone here. I might have her come and try to mess with my camera just a second. Just see if you can raise it up three or four inches without making people uh, kind of dizzy there. That would be great if it can be somewhere like that. Um, I have butter melted and you don't have to hold it. Just see if you can prop it a little bit by changing it. And I have started with the leeks. Now, how many of you have bought leeks? They're at the store, they look like this. They have a big white chunk on the end and a root. Cut off the root, cut off up into the green line. This is not usable, throw that away. And I took some of the leeks, as you can see right here on my cutting mat, and I sliced them thinly. And I am going to start by putting the leeks in this melted butter. And we're just gonna saute that um, kind of medium to medium low heat, just for a couple minutes till they start to soften. You don't want them to brown, okay? And if you haven't done leeks, um, a lot of times people like to use leeks as a combination with onions for like French onion soup, but you can do a combination with leeks and onions. And so I'm using it in this recipe with asparagus. Some people say they're more fragrant than onions, but the interesting part is people don't tear up when they're cutting leeks. So some people usually use them as a complete substitution. So while that is just sauteing enough to soften here, I have taken three cups of asparagus and I've just taken in all different size chunks, it won't matter because we're gonna puree uh, this sauce in a little bit. And I also have Pampered Chef's crushed peppercorn and garlic seasoning because I absolutely love this in this chowder. I have chicken stock and it's actually chicken stock I kept from the last time I did a whole chicken. So I'm using four cups of chicken stock. We're gonna use a couple tablespoons of flour. We're gonna use a little sherry. And then at the very end, we're going to use heavy whipping cream. So what is gonna happen, because I don't think I'll keep you on um, all that long. I'm using a 10 inch skillet um, because that will hold the quantity that I'm gonna do. And I'm sauteing leeks, just probably another minute. Then I will add the asparagus and I will add the crushed pepper, corn and garlic. And so I'll probably get to at least that stage with you guys so you can kind of see um, that part. So let's just stir these around a little bit more. And I'm using the classic scraper, cutting mats. People always want to know exactly what it is I'm using. And the cutting mats, I should tell you, I love them because this is what you can do. You can bend them so things slide right off. And when you get them, they come in sets of three. And there is a little tiny plastic piece all the way across the back that you peel it off because then that makes it stick on the countertop better and then you slice on the top and you will know it because it feels different. But you do have to peel off that plastic cover. Okay, so we're sauteing uh, the asparagus with the leeks. I am going to just dump in my hand here, you know, maybe a teaspoon or two of the crushed peppercorn and garlic. This is from the pantry line. It is such a great multi-purpose seasoning. And then we need this to go for about four minutes. I'm actually gonna set the timer because it's important um, that it gets kind of a little bit of a saute roast before you start the rest of the ingredients. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to add in the flour and we're gonna let the flour cook until it starts to get a little bit bubbly, which also takes 
a couple, two, three minutes, and you can kind of stir it as you're going with it, all right? And then you will add in the sherry and half of the chicken stock. And you will let that cook until the uh, asparagus is tender. And this is kind of a simmer mode. So it could take 10 to 15 minutes because you want it tender, but you don't want it mushy, okay? Then that's the main step on top of your stove. Then we're gonna take this entire mixture that is by now liquid, okay, uh, with some asparagus and leeks. And then we're going to switch and we're gonna put it over here in the cooking blender. And there is a setting on the cooking blender that is for pureeing. I'm not cooking the whole soup in here today, which we have several recipes for, but instead I'm going to use it on the puree setting so I'm going to move the asparagus mixture into the blender, puree it, then it's coming back to the stove, to the pan. I will stir in the rest of the chicken stock and I will stir in a couple cups of whipping cream until it's heated through. And then you can serve it. And you guys, it's delightful to be topped with like a little Parmesan crisps or some people even enjoy a little crumbled bacon or crumbled um, croutons. So you can top it however you want. If you don't want it to be like a chowder, like a bisque, like creamy, you could skip the puree stage, um, but I think it just enhances the, enhances the richness. So as you're gonna do that. And then remember on the cooking blender, you can use it like a regular blender, you know, you can make your smoothie or your milkshake or your, you know, strawberry daiquiri in it. But this is the one that you can also cook in. You can also use it to grind, so you can grind your own nuts into its own, you can make your own peanut butter with a jar of honey roasted or regular roasted peanuts like in a minute. And it has the cleaning setting. So when I'm done pureeing the soup, I will take that and pour it back in here, and then I will put water and a couple drops of dish soap in there, and I will turn it on to the heat wash cycle, and it's like its own dishwasher. So that's really fun too. So my big question, for those of you that popped on later after I've started, or if you're in um, this week's virtual parties, my big question is how are you cooking asparagus at your house? Okay, so let me know in the comments. And if I can help you with anything, let me know. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you soon.